Hi everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. We're learning more about two of the 10 victims killed in a fiery crash in Butler County over the weekend. Officials say that 29 year old Cody Fox, his fiance Haley Anderson and their nine month old daughter Ariana were on their way home to Tennessee from the beach when they were involved in the crash. It happened Saturday just north of Greenville. At least 17 vehicles were involved. First responders rushing in to save as many people as possible. Unfortunately, Cody and Ariana died in the crash. Haley did survive. Cody was a volunteer fireman at the South Pittsburgh Volunteer Fire Department in Tennessee. He also volunteered at the Marion County EMA for the last six years. It's hard to lose somebody in the community, but it's especially hard to lose somebody as young and uh, full of life and energetic as he is and dedicated to the community. He really loved uh, the community and the whole county. Funeral services are set for Saturday in Tennessee. We are learning more about a two alarm fire in an apartment complex in Mobile. The fire broke out Tuesday at the Bay Oaks Apartments just off of Savannah Street. We're told firefighters were able to put out the blaze within a half an hour. Four people were injured, though, in the fire. We're told that one of those is a woman seven months pregnant who sustained injuries while trying to get out of the building and to safety. Went door to door, room to room, unit to unit, making sure that everyone was clear of the structure, uh, clear of the apartment and away from the building. So um, we had several injuries, all with varying degrees of injuries, unfortunately, but uh, most of them are expected to be OK. The cause of the fire remains under investigation this morning. Alabama Governor Kay Ivey will get a first-hand look at the damage from Tropical Storm Claudette. Governor Ivey's office says that she will be in East Bruton today. The National Weather Service says a tornado with winds of up to 127 miles per hour swept through that area. Now we're told that the twister destroyed several homes while heavily damaging many others. Governor Ivey has declared a state of emergency to help with the recovery efforts in Bruton. Meantime, cleanup from that twister continues. W.S. Neal High School in Bruton hit especially hard. The school's football team cleaning up debris from around the school. Then they started on the school grounds before they moved to a nearby neighborhood. Anytime that we see a need, we want to be able to help. And even when there's not necessarily, you know, hopefully not just in tragedies and, and things of that nature, but we also want to get out and do things so that we're visible and that we can connect with our community. And the team hasn't been alone in their efforts. Athletic director and coach Brandon Wilcox says that students and other players from other area schools have been pitching in as well. I'm Eric Reynolds. Fox 10 News now. Throughout the day, please 